హాయ్ ఎస్ వెల్కమ్ టు గ్రేట్ తెలంగాణ టీవీ ముంబైలో నిర్వహించిన నాస్కామ్ టెక్నాలజీ అండ్ లీడర్షిప్ ఫోరం ఇరవై ఎనిమిదవ సదస్సులో రాష్ట్ర ఐటీ పరిశ్రమల శాఖ మంత్రి కేటీఆర్ పాల్గొని మాట్లాడారు తెలంగాణ మోడల్ అభివృద్ధి దేశంలోని మిగతా రాష్ట్రాలకు ఆదర్శంగా నిలిచింది అని కేటీఆర్ స్పష్టం చేశారు తెలంగాణ ప్రభుత్వానికి కేంద్ర సహకారం చాలా తక్కువగా ఉందని విమర్శించారు మేక్ ఇన్ ఇండియా అంటున్న కేంద్రం రాష్ట్రాలకు సహకరించడం లేదని కేటీఆర్ స్పష్టం చేశారు తెలంగాణ ప్రభుత్వం తీసుకొచ్చిన రైతు బంధు పథకాన్ని ఇతర రాష్ట్రాలు అమలు చేస్తున్నాయని వివరించారు రైతు బంధుతో తెలంగాణలో వ్యవసాయ ఉత్పత్తులు గణనీయంగా పెరిగాయన్నారు తెలంగాణను మిగులు విద్యుత్ రాష్ట్రంగా మార్చామని ఆయన తెలిపారు ఇంటింటికి రక్షిత మంచినీరు అందిస్తున్నామని కేటీఆర్ పేర్కొన్నారు ఐటీ పరిశ్రమను జిల్లా కేంద్రాలకు విస్తరించామని చెప్పారు టెక్ మహీంద్రా లాంటి ప్రముఖ కంపెనీలను వరంగల్లో తమ శాఖలను ఏర్పాటు చేసిందని వివరించారు ప్రపంచంలోనే అతిపెద్దదైన ఫార్మా క్లస్టర్ పంతొమ్మిది వేల ఎకరాల్లో ఏర్పాటు చేస్తున్నామని కేటీఆర్ వెల్లడించారు వరంగల్లో ఏర్పాటు చేస్తున్న మెగా టెక్స్టైల్స్ పార్క్ దేశంలోనే పెద్దది అని తెలిపారు అమెరికా జపాన్ లాంటి దేశాలు అభివృద్ధి కోసం పెద్ద ఎత్తున అప్పులు చేస్తున్నాయన్నారు ఆ దేశాలతో పోలిస్తే తెలంగాణ జీడిపి చాలా మెరుగ్గా ఉందన్నారు ప్రపంచ ఎగుమతుల్లో భారత్ వాటా కేవలం రెండు శాతం మాత్రమేనని మంత్రి కేటీఆర్ స్పష్టం చేశారు తెలంగాణలో పర్యాటక రంగాన్ని అభివృద్ధి చేసేందుకు చర్యలు తీసుకుంటున్నామని కేటీఆర్ తెలిపారు కీప్ వాచింగ్ గ్రేట్ తెలంగాణ టీవీ uh india's largest textile park in about 2000 acres in a town called warangal uh it's called kakatiya mega textile park now why did we do do these two projects because if india really has to compete with say vietnam indonesia malaysia all of them which are attracting large amount of manufacturing from china moving away that is moving away from china the reason why they are attracting is not just because of the ease of doing business it's also the incentives that are offered it's also the economies of scale that uh, you know a large uh industrial park office and we reached out to government of india i'm not trying to bash up government of india here but i'm just merely stating a fact we reached out to them we said sir we are creating these two large parks these are pro- par- projects of national importance they may be situated in telangana but they are projects of national importance because you can only have one park which spans out in 19000 acres you can't have many 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 more parks like that in india as you rightly pointed out we are the pharmaceutical capital of india pharmaceutical production capital of india manufacturing capital of india for that uh, sector especially so we reached out to them we said please support us please give us you know a uh, uh, money for common effluent treatment solutions common infrastructure creation unfortunately the response has been very 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 meek same is the case with mega textile park we reached out to the textile ministry we said we have to change this bangladesh cannot be manufacturing more than us china cannot be doing 10 times more than us we are at 4% bangladesh is at 12% China is at 40% in terms of in terms of uh, textiles and garments that are produced. So we reached out we said we have to compete on scale. Let's create something truly world class together and please support us. What did we get? I'm sorry but nothing. So the fact is government of India somehow has missed out uh, you know to give a you know nice slogan like make in India is fabulous but the fact is how do you go about delivering on the promise of make in India? You can't just assemble in India. what's happening today is essentially assembling in india where is the real manufacturing happening if you ask any of the states any of the any of the any of the industry ministers from any other state or any any of the industry captains largely it's assembly very little manufacturing true genuine manufacturing that's happening in india how do you change this piece unless unless you create an opportunity an economy where the states are given more in terms of in terms of leeway in terms of fiscal federalism you know unless that comes into play things will not move as quickly as we all would love to see them move now coming to services sector they have been the mainstay of our gdp now i think 50% now 50% of it actually reflects in the gdp but again there is so much that can be done a country like sri lanka a country like malaysia attracts much much larger number of tourists than a huge country with amazing diversity we've you know come out with beautiful campaigns incredible india amitabh kant has uh, conceptualized it but unfortunately still the number of tourists we attract is very very meager now well, that is one important sector it banking financial services insurance services tourism hospitality these are all the sectors which further can be augmented with a well thought out plan with a well thought out strategy and i think government of india needs to focus on these sectors where the states can be allowed again like i said to play a larger role in tandem of course with government of india the, under the larger rubric but we have to be able to do more and now going back to agriculture and allied sectors telangana again has been a pioneering state with respect to agriculture 
In fact, we conceptualize this farm input assistance uh, to each and every acre, which, are, which eventually has been copied by, not copied necessarily, but has been imitated and has been, has been uh, uh, you know, taken up, labbed up by states like Odisha, Jharkhand, West Bengal, and eventually by Government of India under the name PM Kisan. We started about three years ago. We give out farm input assistance uh, of rupees 12,000 per acre in, in two installments. Across, uh, it's called, the program is called Raitu Bandhu, which is showing fantastic results. The farmer suicides in Telangana have come down. The farm yields have grown, quintupled in fact, in the last five years. And the diversification of crops is also happening. Food storage facilities, in fact, have been you know, uh, improved by six times. We had four lakh metric tons of storage capacity, which has now come to 24 lakh metric tons of storage capacity. So a lot of good work that is being done in states like Telangana needs to be emulated, needs to be picked up as best practices by Niti Aayog, and has to be shared with other states to basically emulate and imbibe. So uh, again, quickly, coming back to, I mean, I didn't realize it will be state versus whoever. And I'm trying to find whoever, wherever that person is. Or Bula that, uh, <laughs> right. So anyway, coming, uh, coming to the point here, uh, God's own country, Kerala tourism, Kerala on the map because of Ayurveda or the health tourism, it was a state initiative. Absolutely. Right. Uh, and many of the other states have emulated it. We see advertisements of MP, Chhattisgarh, Maharashtra, now on the, the point I'm trying all of us to understand is that what can A, the other states do uh, to get better services revenue and is it possible that certain subjects which are in the state domain, which is tourism, education, and, uh, uh, you know, maybe the, you know, sectors like uh, manufacturing, I mean, can we do something to accelerate it? Absolutely. In fact, um, tourism, when I say tourism, I just don't mean pleasure tourism. I mean medical tourism. I mean religious tourism. I mean adventure tourism. There are plenty of kinds of tourism. Today, in fact, a large number of Buddhists across the world, from especially the Far East, China, or all the, you know, the Southeast Asian nations, you know, there are a large number of people who actually uh, practice Buddhism. We don't see them visiting India very often. We don't see them, uh, uh, you know, I mean, the numbers are there, but I think it could be a lot more than what we get today in terms of our uh, uh, potential, uh, in terms of being able to attract these tourists to India. It's huge. Likewise, you know, some states like Madhya Pradesh, as you pointed out, Chhattisgarh, have leveraged their sanctuaries, have leveraged their uh, adventure tourism potential, wildlife tourism potential, Kanha, Bandavgarh, Penj, etc., etc. The diversity that this country has, in fact, I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed to admit this also. I don't think I've also visited uh, many pa any part of Northeast so far. I think even, even we, we always look at international tourists. Honorable Prime Minister gave a call. You know, for all of us as Indians also, to visit as many locations as possible in our own country. I think that's something that we could do without really having to look for anybody else uh, from outside. I haven't seen Meghalaya. I, am, I hear it's beautiful. The Chief Minister, whenever I meet him, he keeps telling me that you must come. This is a beautiful, uh, you know, Conrad Sangma is a dear friend. He keeps telling me that you have to come. But unfortunately, I haven't been able to go there. So opportunities such as these for states to you know, promote themselves, showcase themselves, I think exists. And we have 1.3 billion, if I may remind all of us. I think we have enough people in India to basically, be, be among all of us, to be able to push this and take it up a notch. Secondly, even in terms of medical tourism, today healthcare has become extremely expensive anywhere in the world. You go to Middle East, you go to US or Europe or even Africa for that matter, it's extremely expensive. A city like Hyderabad, in fact, I won't name a hospital, I won't name the private hospital, but this gentleman who was speaking to me some time back told me that he gets 100 crores worth of business from African nationals who actually come and visit him for healthcare reasons. This is one hospital in Hyderabad per month being able to do a 100 crore business. 
Now imagine the potential if we actually put our minds together and attract people from Middle East, people from South Asia, people from possibly Far East and also uh, Southeast Asian countries and African countries. The numbers could be huge. What do we do to, I mean, to make it uh, uh, possibly uh, uh, easier for people to come in? I think we have to create as part of the regional connectivity scheme, we have to create more airports, we have to make sure that air travel also becomes more affordable and better options connecting Indian cities to other countries, etc., etc. So all of these combined strategies will, I think, make, uh, 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 make an impact. But more importantly, like you pointed out, there are a lot more things that we as states can also do. For instance, my state, the state of Telangana, while I could be boasting of all the good work we've done in various sectors, could we be doing more in tourism? Absolutely. I think we have a lot of heritage sites in Hyderabad, Lot of heritage structures in Varangal, lot of heritage structures in Nidanta news update Kosam channel no subscribe Chandi. Pakane unde bell symbol no click chade and much pokandi. Updates ni miss avakandi. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share. Follow on Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter, Instagram. For more updates, please subscribe Great Telangana TV.